Diamond Painters, welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie, and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. And today I am unboxing. Hello. Uh, there's this one. Today I am unboxing a couple of kits from Diamond Canvas Art Designs, which if you haven't heard um, about them, they do all uh, crystal canvases, so all rhinestones. So there's nothing on their canvases except rhinestones. So I I chose a couple of kits. The first one I picked was this one. It is called the Dreaming Unicorn, and this is what it looks like. Put that down there, and I'll just pop this one open and show you. See what we got and it took about nine days to get here um, they have very limited stock right now when they do get stuff in it goes really fast I probably should have checked their site when I first saw that they were restocked but I didn't so I didn't have much of a choice but I did find a couple I liked so this is a 30 by 30 and it's a very simplistic one, so and I chose it that way because I didn't want something that was going to take me a long time to do. And this does have 24 colors, but as you can see, there is a lot of color blocking on this. Here's what the drill field looks like. So because they are rhinestones, they are round. And it's extremely unwrinkled amazingly um it was fold it was rolled inside the box and it does look like it is poured glue the toolkit is um a basic toolkit they do have a couple baggies that they include in it and here are the drills all rhinestones so this, I love the key. It's really big, very easy to read. And let's measure because I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure, well, I can't say. Is it 30 by 30 drill area? Yes. So it, from edge to edge of the drilling area, it is almost exactly 30 centimeters. The 30 actually hits the edge of the key there. And the other direction, it is about the same exact as the width. So this is um, very sharp. I mean, it's rare that I see one with the cover so perfectly laid. I mean, that is one of my favorite things to feel is a perfectly flat covering to one of these diamond paintings when it's the clear cover. You can see how shiny it is. That means it's like right on it. And the plastic isn't overhanging or anything. It's cut really well. So this is their website, um, crystalcanvas.us. And the canvas is a pretty thick material. You can hear how it is. What kind of material? I don't know. Um, some kind of plasticky material. Glimmer, shimmers, and shines, and it's got their designs on the corners here. I'm just really in awe of this large key. I, you know, I have unboxed one from them. I think it was back in February. I don't remember the unboxing and what the key looked like, but I'm impressed with this key. Let's look at the drills real quick. If I can find out how to open it. Where's the opening? There we are. Think? Yeah. All right, so they're lined up in here nice and neat. So looks like some of them are leaking. There are a few in the bag, but they are in order. So, purple, there isn't a lot of this shade of purple. Here, I'll zoom in so you can see them better. So, there's that purple. 
number one. And then we have another purple. So there's that. And then we've got a red and a gold color, champagne kind of looks like. And then we have a another really light lavender purple. I know the glare is just crazy. Oh, I love this color. Number six. Where's that going to go? Because it looks like there's a lot. Um... Acrylic diamond number is 39. I'm kind of confused. Maybe that's how many you need? No, there's no way. Maybe that's... Okay, they have a number, apparently. So the rhinestone number is 39. But where this goes is going to be in the hair, up in the flowers, up in here. And then over here in these flowers. And then down here. So there's a lot. A number six. Um, number seven is a pink. Eight is a gold color. And another yellow. More of a yellow color. And this is another champagne gold color. Number ten. And then we got... A Siamish red color here kind of looks orange on the screen and number 12 is kind of a grayish blue blue gray kind of color and 13 is a green look at that look at all these different rhinestone colors they're so pretty and 14 looks like it's a brownish smoke kind of a smoke color you can see it. Yeah. 15 is like another really light smoke. And here's like a yellow, another yellow. So there's a lot of colors, I'm guessing, because of blending in the flowers. And 17 is a pink. And then we have another light baby pink, number 18. And 19 is a gray. It's really pretty though. And then 20 looks like this might be one of the ones that was open a little bit. Let's see. Nope, that's a, it looks like it's that color. But you got to sometimes watch these seals to make sure they're sealed all the way. Um, but that's kind of a reddish color. Orange, reddish orange. And 21. Here's some more of these pretty blue aqua colors. 21 and 22 is just another shade of it. So there's a lot of the blue throughout the hair and the flowers. And then here we go with another gold color. This one won't take me long to do if I'm able to use multi-placers with these rhinestones. And this is the background color. As you can see, it's a very large bag of silver. So that's my little unicorn, which I think I could do um, rather quickly just because it is... Um, there's not a lot of colors. It's got a lot of um, color blocking, and I'm thinking I could get it done pretty quick. So let me put this one away, and then I will pull out the larger one that I have. And I'm going to tell you now, it's not going to have a lot of color blocking to it. So I'll be right back. All right, canvas number two. Um, as you can see, it's a bigger one. It came in a bigger box. It was taped shut. I went ahead and cut it earlier before I started the video so that I didn't have to fight with it. it looks though this canvas is made of the same type of material. Nice and thick. This one's a 50 by 50 and this is what this one looks like. Uh, 
This one's called Dolphin Jump. And... Wow, look at the air that's in there. And they do... They included scissors on this one and a square tray, which is odd. You rarely get this square tray. And there's a big chunk of wax. So probably just from a different manufacturer um, so yeah as I said this is not gonna have a lot of um, color blocking it does have some it has it up here in the sky got a bit of color blocking here and there but there's a lot of confetti all the way through here because of the detail and then down here in the ocean Especially down in here, there's going to be a, a lot. And this is going to be interesting to see how it turns out because I normally stay away from diamond paintings that have a lot of detail when it comes to all all crystal or all rhinestone drills. Um, this one has 35 colors. And it says 50 by 50, so I'm going to check the that's a, a whole 20 centimeters both directions bigger than the other one and yeah that is as you can see right there there's the 50 the line for 50 goes right there so that is spot on in this direction it is also the same exact width all right and I'm impressed with how clean this is as far as you know no wrinkles no you know they don't put rubber bands around it so it doesn't indent on the glue and um, this cover piece is actually in two pieces as you can see here it overlaps and so you've got the top half and it is poured glue, and that's that's really good sticky. I, I, I mean, if you've seen me unbox others that were poured glue like this with this type of cover, and you'll see that um, I have to pull it back to get all the wrinkles and stuff out, and that's what I'm talking about with how smooth this is. Um, it does have a couple, but that was... These were uh, done around w when it was first laid because you can tell in the imprint of the glue it's missing the spot not the glue isn't missing but the indention it gets it's a perfectly flat glossy look and then you can see right like right here this line right there and right here you can see that all that is is just the spot where the cover wasn't touching the glue when it's completely set because the spots where the, the cellophane cover is touching the glue it will be all glossy and shiny and the spots that there may have been just um, an air bubble in the cover itself between the cover and the glue it will actually take the shape of the canvas and that's why you'll see um, a textured look on spots like that because it's just giving the shape of the canvas itself so let me show you the drill field on this and that is some really clear looking symbols uh, I do like that they're all so far that I'm seeing in black there are no white symbols Yep, they're all in black. That is awesome. That is really, really good. So that is very impressive. Um, very rare do I find a diamond painting that doesn't have any symbols that are done in white. Um, but this is this is very clear. I, I really like how clear this is. And again, you can see the key over here is fairly large. And I like that they only, well, they use as many numbers and letters as possible. It looks, it looks like, well, they do have a Z and a two, but they are very, you can see the difference in them. 
uh, let's see, they're not using the O. They do have a capital D. They're not using lowercase letters. And so then when they got down to the Z at the end here, they used um, a few of, of the other random symbols. And I know when you're making, when you're charting these, you can choose which symbols to use. So it's really good when people use things. They're really self-conscious about what symbols they're putting on a canvas. So that's this beautiful, let's see if I can pull you out a little bit so you can see the whole thing at once since it is fairly large. Yeah, that is really pretty. And as you know, I, or may or may not know, I do, I'm working on doing a dolphin theme for my bathroom, but looking at this far away compared to the way I can see it right here close up, I am liking the detail that I can see down here in the bottom inside the ocean there. This is so pretty. All right, so let's uh, take a look at the drills on this. I'm, I'm not going to go into detail like I did with the first one on each color, but I'll kind of flip through them. I'm just trying, I try to keep them in order so I know that they're all there. Let's see, there's two big bags right here, or a few of them. So we've got our black. And sometimes you will find this, you know, in with your rhinestones. It's because there's some colors that just, some things that you really need a solid color and it's black so that you're not getting washed out and it needs to show a certain detail so you need to have that black the solid black but they actually still give it a um rhinestone number let's see what they have for this number um 93 yeah so the rhinestone version of 310 is called 93 i don't know what the difference is between this and a regular 310 drill i could not tell you does anyone know? Because I don't. So that's number four. Number one is, okay, that's actually a purple. It's a really deep purple almost. You, it's really hard to see that it's, unless you get up close, you can see the purple in there. It looks black from far away. Look at that. So pretty. All right, so number two is a beautiful blue sapphire color. I said I wasn't going to go over every color, but I might because there's so many purples and they're beautiful. I love my purples. So there is another purple. I can get up close better when I am zoomed out to the normal, but when I go far out, when I zoom all the way in, I can't go up to the camera. It doesn't like that. So again we have more of these really pretty blues in here i'll just zoom in so you can kind of get a look at what we have here basically the same colors as before with just some added shades and i like how they keep them they pack them in here in order see this is one that wasn't in the other one look at that pretty color oh my gosh that's so pretty it's number 32. I love working with rhinestones. And these are just really gorgeous. So I am going to, let's see, well, as you can see here, these are, these are the same colors that were in the last one. And well, this purple here looks a little different. This is a new one. That wasn't in the last one. But look, you can see that. It's another, it kind of reminds me of the first purple that I pulled out. Really pretty. So that about wraps this one up. Uh, here's another one that we didn't see. And I keep saying that and I keep wanting to show you another one. That. So um, let's see. For price wise, let's go back out. The 50 by 50 was $28 and 
the 30 by 30 was $18, $19, sorry. And it was free shipping, I believe. Let me look at my receipt here. Yeah, I, it doesn't show any shipping on here. So I, yeah, free shipping. And okay, I ordered them June 7th. I received them, I think, yesterday. So it was in within the last couple of days. Today's Wednesday. It could have been Monday or Tuesday. Um, but that if it came yesterday, it would have been nine days um, to get here, counting the weekend. Yeah, so it was eight or nine days to get them. And that's okay. I mean, I wasn't in a big rush to start them or anything. So I was okay with that. But... There you go. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below. Um, if you're interested in checking out what they do have, um, you can go to their website. Site, but your best bet is to join the Facebook group so that when she does do her restocking, you'll know and you'll be able to go to their her website to order at that time because it's kind of frustrating right now to go to shop on her site when there's really nothing available. Um, I just went back through to check to see what, what they have because there are a few things that I, I want and you can't register on the website. I think the website needs some work because you can't register so that it won't it won't hold a wish list. There's no wish list or anything. So you kind of just have to remember which ones you like and just come back and keep checking on them or bookmark each page, you know, that way. But um, yeah. Go check out what she has. Join the Facebook group so that you know when she's going to be updating her inventory again. And you let me know what you think. Uh, if you could leave a like, I would greatly appreciate it. There's a thumbs up button you can hit um, right underneath the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to be one of my subscribers. I love my people that follow me because I do giveaways as often as I can possibly find time to do them. And if you want to be notified when I do post a new video or when I go live, just hit that notification bell and you will get a notification. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Um, have fun diamond painting. Don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.